2001, Mike Flory purchased a failing restaurant in downtown Ann Arbor with the vision of opening a sports bar. I've always wanted to be in the restaurant business, bar business. I was a general manager of a chain restaurant for almost 10 years. And then this building opened up. Three weeks later, we're renovating. I've been through that corporate world. My lips were chapped every day kissing somebody's ass that I didn't like. Now I don't have to kiss anybody's ass but my own. That's bull business quickly flourished as the arena began to attract the local Ann Arbor College alumni community. In the peak, this was definitely the best sports bar in Ann Arbor, doing about $150,000 a month. Aye. This was the place to be. After nine years of continued success, new bars emerged all over downtown Ann Arbor, poaching many of the arena's frequent customers. Some of our regulars aren't quite as regular. There's new shiny places out there. Mike failed to adapt to the local bar scene and the arena continued to lose customers. Mike stopped really focusing on the bar and how to make it better and how to keep up with all these other new bars. The second that you walk into the arena, you're definitely going to feel like it's stale. It's outdated as I think our food menu doesn't reflect the city of Ann Arbor very well. Mike has held the menu back for so many years. Business declined and Mike took his frustrations out in his staff and customers. What is wrong with you? Mike, as an owner, is abrasive and can be scary at times. I got too much to think about. I mean, you ordered them, they should be on there. That's his job to make sure that they're here. Not only does he own the bar, sometimes I feel like he owns me. Sometimes that's not a good feeling. Ah, OK. Mike is probably the most difficult person to work with. <laughs> You're sucking tonight, dude. I'm willing to choke one person out a day, and you were almost dead. Now, losing over $10,000 a month, Mike is left with the rundown bar. <laughs> a staff constantly on edge, and a million dollar debt. This is our heart and soul, so it's hard to see it dwindle down to nothing. Financially, I can't pull any money out of my pocket. I've already closed four of my retirement accounts, so there's nothing left in them. My kid's college fund is just, just gone. I'm supposed to be the breadwinner, and I'm not right now, and it, and it, it hurts. Needing to secure a future for his wife and children, Mike has agreed to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to bar rescue. Away from a table, a person, he's got something to say that degrades either the customer, the employee, or everything is beneath him. This guy is just a dick.